Привет, друзья! Как дела? My name is Fedor, and in this video you'll become master of Russian prefix rule, which is how to add uva to our verbs. Now, if you're not familiar with aspects, then you should learn them first. This is a step up after you learn aspects. And you can learn aspects with our beef link. That's with the first link in the description. We have multiple lessons dedicated to aspects, one of which you see on the screen right now. You can check it out, learn it right now with the first link in the description. After you do that, come back to this video and we're gonna talk about this topic in particular. In Russian, aspects are a tricky, tricky topic. If we take a verb, играть, and it's imperfective because all infinitive forms or the default forms or aspects of verbs are imperfective. Now, if we add a prefix to it, let's say выиграть, now it becomes perfective because as a rule we change the aspect of a verb with the prefix. This prefix v changed that aspect. But not only did it change the aspect, it also changed the meaning. It went from to be playing, играть, to to win with выиграть. And what if, for your sentences, you need the imperfective aspect, but the meaning of to win? That's when we add this prefix ивать, выигрывать. So as you can see, we kept the вы as a prefix. We kept the same stem игр, which means to play, and this suffix ива. So now this verb выигрывать means to be winning. It's imperfective. So, once again, this suffix uva is used whenever we want to keep this verb imperfective, but add a prefix to it to change the meaning. And an example when we can use this verb right here is Я люблю выигрывать. I love to win or I love to be winning. We cannot say Я люблю выиграть. This verb has to be imperfective, so we add Я люблю выигрывать. With this suffix ива, it's now imperfective. So this suffix is the true mastery of Russian prefixes and aspects where we can manipulate the verbs to fit in whatever we want to do. Okay, whatever we want this verb to do. All right, but this ива is not the only suffix that we have. There's other ones. There's one that is ива. Let's learn when you're supposed to use ива and ива. Ива is used when the ending ends on at, when the ending of a verb is at. Играть, ending is at. Выигрывать, ending is ивать. Okay, so whenever the ending of the original verb is at, we add ива. If the ending is it or yet, we add the suffix ива. For example, смотреть and говорить. Смотреть ends on yet, говорить ends on it. We can say договаривать. To finish talking. And we have this eva as a suffix. Rasmatrivat to kind of take a closer look. Again, the suffix is eva because of their endings initially. But with these two verbs, the last two verbs, pay attention. We also changed the spelling of the stem. It went from this o to a. That's another way of changing the stem, but as a part of this rule. Don't worry about it too much because it's getting into the weeds, into the exceptions, into the details of this rule that will confuse your usage of this uva and eva concept. But just so you know and be aware that the stem might change too. So now let's take these three verbs and you can pause this video right now and change them and add either uva or eva to them. So first, записать and перечитать, both end on at, so we need ива. Записывать, add this ива right here. Перечитывать, add this ива right here. And lastly, we have запить, ending is it, so we need ивать, запивать. So now we know how to, if you're correct, congratulations, well done. Now you know how to form this ива, ива suffix. Now you can use it in your own Russian as well and change the aspect offset that prefix usage and that is all that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching and keep on learning russian with our b fluent class right here learn all there is to aspects with this one right here or keep on watching our youtube videos with this next one